Hi, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have scored quite a large lot of vintage coloring books and things like that. Um, some of them I even have several of one. I think they were from an attic or an estate sale. The lady that I bought them from thought that they were all 1950s. As I looked through them, they were between the 50s and the 70s. So that will all be marked in the description box when you go to my shop to purchase them. So let's get into some of them here. I'll try to go pretty quickly, um, but I just kind of want to show you what they're, what they're like. And you can go to my shop below to purchase them if you'd like. So there's only one of the Dawn of Man. It's from the 19, 1960. Two, I like the inside covers because you can cut out these squares and collage with them and put them in journals. And then there's really neat illustrations, bright and colorful. Um, there's just kind of like history, geology, nature, things like that throughout here. So there's one of those. And then these are super cute, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. I have four available. And I kept one for myself, but these are really cute. And some of them, they are meant to be used in your journals or in your paper crafting. So they may have, you know, these are old. These are from the 70s. They might have little rips. Some of them might have coloring. Overall, I think these are really clean. I'm flipping through really fast and I'm not seeing any coloring in any of them at all. Um, 1977 they are so cute and I think that they would be adorable in fairy tale journals children's book journals or just added into like floral eclectic journals like that as and it just the cover is really really pretty the back is the same as the front so I have four of those and then I have two Pinocchios and I kept one too because I actually have a book cover from an old Pinocchio book that I want to make into a journal at some point. So I wanted this so that I could, it's 1975, so that I could use some of these in the Pinocchio um, book. But look at how cute these are. And just flipping through them quickly, they look fairly clean as well. I don't see anything major really cute illustrations telling the story of Pinocchio. There's only two of those. And then this one is called Crayon Parade. And this is 1977 as well. Bright and colorful, super cute. These are just a whole bunch of different vintage coloring book images. And again, I'm going to flip through all of them really quick, but I don't see any um, like coloring or anything major wrong with them. They're really cute. And I think that you could use them, you know, you have ones you could use in beach journals, you have pages, you could use, a lot of them are fishing and stuff like that. But here's bubbles. Look at the little puppy dogs. Super cute. So there's, wow, several of these. There's six of these available. I think that these would be really neat too since there's a bunch of them. If you bought several, you could put together little Christmas packs for your crafty friends and include these as well. That's something that I've actually been wanting to talk about and post in my Facebook group is trying to like adopt an Etsy shop or adopt a crafty friend or person, even if you don't know them personally, from the group that, you know, you would send a Christmas present to. And so, you know, if you you know, you got, maybe you bought like four of them. You could keep one for yourself and then send these in happy mail to your friends. And I think getting a little vintage coloring book for your crafts would be adorable. So that is a suggestion. This one is called Let's Discover Desert Animals. It is from 19... 50, 60, 1964. Look at the inside cover. Some of these animals, they're just so cute. There's burrowing animals. There's really beautiful nature pictures in here. It would make desert hummingbird. Would make really pretty journals. There's not a whole lot of pages in here, but they're really high quality. They feel really vintage. So um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. So everybody gets one. <laughs> everybody can get one. I have, these are really neat dot to dot coloring books. And here we go. Look at all these dot to dots. I think they are so much fun to put into 
um, like children's themed or just really eclectic because it's just totally different. It's something unique. These are from the 70s, 1975, and I have three of those available. And then I have two Little Red Riding Hood. Really cute, the story of Red Riding Hood. There's quite a few pages in here. I'm not sure of the date on this one. Obviously, it's in the same date range. It's probably the 60s or 70s. They're both very clean. I don't see any coloring. So there are two of those. And then I have two Puss in Boots. And this is 1975. And you have the story of Puss in Boots. And these look pretty clean too. I don't see any coloring. I actually like when I find coloring in these because I think it's really neat to take like a picture that a kid colored decades ago and add it into a junk journal. Give it new life. I have one happy birthday coloring book from 1975 and it has some like activities lots of birthday lots of little kids and cat there's a cat there make your own candy cup so that's really cute as well i have one horty the hippo the amazing walking toy easy to follow directions make assembling a snap so this actually makes this hippo it's 1965 and you could either use it in, you know, some of these pages, look how cute, that you could put in junk journals, and then you could even make the little hippo if you wanted as well. But really cute pages here, and the instructions, and dots, dots, and all that fun stuff. So, there's that. And then I have several of these. The Pine, pine Man and Axe. I have one, two, three, four... Five. and again it has these really neat pictures in the front and this has a lot of neat images as well a lot of nature and map there's maps and a lot of like rugged logging loggers vintage uh, trees and lumberjacks and stuff like that so ships lots of different images that can be used so I have several of those available and that's from 62. And then I have some fun circus ones. These are fun at the circus, 1975. I have six of these, just cute vintage circus. And that would be really cute to do circus theme journals or just children's journals in general. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I've been working with these old books for a while. I don't see that any of them are really used, but again, you might find some because they are old. And then I have several of these. Now these I think are from the 50s. Um, games Around the World. And these are from 55. So they have all different countries and there's costumes, a little bit about the countries games, um, things like that. So that's really neat, all different countries. And I do have several of those. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. And then I have Toys to Color. That's a vintage coloring book, 1975. I have three of them available and they look like they're all clean copies as well. I have one of these circus sticker pictures. And these are like the old cutout, the colored pictures. Moisten the back, stick it in place. So these are really cute, old. Some of these, this has a little bit of coloring, but I think that's really cute. I think it adds a lot to the character of the book. And I don't know the date on this one, but it's old in the same date range. And this one is called The Busy Bee Carnival, a Child Life Playbook. Complete paper cutout carnival, Ferris wheel, backyard carnival, plan costumes. And this one is old. You can see, like, it has some damage, but I'm selling them so you guys can take them apart and put them in your journals. And I'm not sure about the date on this, but so cute. These pictures are so cute. 
I almost kept this one, but I have enough. And then someone cut something out of it here. So it's definitely craft condition, but there's a lot you can use. So that is what I have. I hope that you enjoyed it, the little haul, and I hope you'll enjoy purchasing some of them. I'll see you all in the next video.